Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday, Vlogmas Day 21. And this morning, we are doing laundry. I feel like I do laundry every day. I also feel like it is definitely time to wash this hair. Uh, I've only gone one day without washing it. I've been washing it every single day because I'm actually trying to get the purple to fade. Because I think I am done with the purple right now. I think I'm going to go to more of a natural shade. Just a little bit lighter than my natural color. This is my natural color up here. It's really, really dark brown. Like, almost black. Super, super dark brown. Uh, but I am really getting tired of the purple. And I really am getting tired of having purple just on my ends. I don't know. To me, I feel like it looks kind of trashy. I get a lot of compliments about it, though. Anywho, uh, I think I'm going to go to something more natural. Maybe, like I said, maybe a shade lighter than my natural color. I've also got a lot of grays up here. But anyway, what we're doing today <laughs> is not worrying about my hair. Uh, what we're doing today is laundry. I've actually finished washing and drying. I have folded most of it. I've got one load left to fold. But I've got a lot of stuff. Most of my clothes get hung up in my closet. Uh, I just like it better that way. I don't, I don't know. My husband doesn't understand why I... Uh, hang up like yoga pants and t-shirts and all this stuff. I just like it better. I used to put everything in drawers. It gets wrinkled. It gets messy. I can never keep my drawers clean and organized the way I want them. It is so much easier to keep a closet organized for me. Uh, so that's what I do. So I'm going to show you guys how I like to put my clothes away. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to do when I'm putting my clothes away. I feel like I've shown you guys this before, but I can't remember. So I'm going to do it now. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to put outfits together. I've got some hangers that I'm going to show you in a little bit that I have in my closet. I'm almost certain that I've shown you guys before, but they're space saver hangers and they've got five sections, five little sections on them. And the ends of them, the hooks on the ends of them are, uh, They've got like a joint in them so you can unhook it from well you can take it down it'll be like this and then you take it and it'll fold down basically i don't feel like i explained that very well but it's got five slots on it so i like to put together five outfits i've got six of those hangers in here the very first one i like to put outfits together on that one so five outfits on that one i like to do that first so i've got some outfits already put together here I've got just some leggings and a black tank, uh, not a black tank, a black tunic, um, <laughs> another leggings and tunics. Uh, this is for Christmas Eve because we're going to my parents' house. I love this shirt. This is another tunic, but it came with an infinity scarf. It says on the naughty list. I love this. I feel like I've already worn this to death this season. But you guys, it's like, I, I promise you, it's my favorite shirt. It's dressy and it's so freaking comfortable. It's, oh, I love it. And then I've got this outfit here. I've got this, I showed you guys this when I bought it. Uh, I have only worn it once. I almost feel like it's going to end up in a declutter pretty soon because I don't wear it. But it was one of those items that I was like, if I don't buy it right now, I'm going to kick myself in the butt for not buying it. And I would have, but I don't wear it. <laughs> But I pair it with just a little black, a little black dress, a little black, uh, I guess you would call it like a skater dress because the skirt is kind of cut like a skater skirt. But yeah, I paired it with that. I cannot wait to wear this outfit. I haven't had a reason to wear it yet. But let me show you now the hangers that I like to put them on. Okay, so these are the hangers that I'm talking about. See, they've got five little sections in them and the ends of them, you can fold them down, you can put them up. But I have five sections there, so I'll put those five outfits here, and then I've got six more of them. I try to keep these organized, like uh, just regular t-shirts, nicer, nicer t-shirts, tunics on one, leggings on one, that sort of thing. Trying to keep them organized, because honestly, if you see, do you see how much space, if my camera will focus, focus, there we go. You see how much space is left in there? If I had all this stuff in there individually, all of that space would be filled. So I really, really love these things. You can still get them. I've looked for them online. 
because I wanted to get some for my husband's closet because he really, really needs it. His closet, do you guys want to see <laughs> how cluttered this man's closet is? Hold on one second. I've got to put his stuff away too. You're probably not really going to be able to see it, but his closet is completely full. And you guys, I promise you, he doesn't wear half of this stuff. But this is, this is after I've cleaned it out. I cleaned this out probably, I don't know, three or four months ago. And this is what we were left with. But I've got a couple of those hangers in here. You're not going to be able to see it very well. But I've got a couple of them in there. Uh, I put his, his dress shirts on those. But yeah, I want some more of those uh, hangers for his closet so that I can get this, you know, a little bit better organized so it's not quite so cluttered and he can find things a little easier. I feel like when you can find things easier in your closet, uh, you wear them more often. Because I promise you there are shirts or pants or something in there that he doesn't even know he has. I promise you. Okay, so then I'll just come in here and I'll put these outfits together. I'll put them on this first uh, this first hanger. I'm going to see if I can find a link maybe on Amazon or something for these if you're interested in them. Uh, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you that really easy hack. I really do love these things. I've had these hangers for, God, well over 10 years. Well over 10 years. Probably closer to about 15 years. Uh, but I freaking love these things. They're fantastic. And if you have a really cluttered closet, it's a great way to get everything organized and, you know, create more space in your closet. Because I'm sure, like I said, when your closet is clean and organized, it's a lot easier to find things to wear. And I promise you, if you had your closet clean and organized, I promise you, you would find things in your closet that you didn't even know you had. But yeah, I just wanted to share that little hack with you guys. Okay, guys, I'm folding socks now, and this is the one task that I hate doing more than anything else. I don't know why I hate folding socks so much, but I absolutely hate it. I have been known to leave socks unfolded in a basket on my couch for weeks on end because I just refuse to do it. I also have been known, the reason that, and I don't know why I do this, I hate folding socks so much, but I will refuse to wash any socks until like I just have a whole load of socks to wash and then I had then all I have to fold is socks and I hate doing it I feel like maybe if I just washed the socks with the other laundry you know whatever but I don't really separate my laundry I just kind of throw everything in I wash everything in cold water so I don't have a problem but I feel like maybe if I just washed the socks with everything else you know and just got a couple of pairs here and there I wouldn't have as much to fold but then I end up in a situation where I don't have matches for socks. So I end up holding on to all the socks and not washing them until I have a whole load. And then I have like a whole basket of socks sitting on my couch, not being folded because I refuse to do it. Am I alone in this? Does anybody else hate folding socks? Let me know down below. What is the one thing that you hate folding more than anything else when it comes to laundry? I, I, I can't be alone in this. I can't be the only one in the world that hates folding socks. So let me know down below. What do you hate folding? Okay, after that rant about how much I hate folding socks, I have now for some insane reason decided to declutter my sock drawer. I have two drawers of socks. I feel like that means I have way too many socks. So I'm going through right now, I've actually found quite a few pairs of tights that I know don't fit anymore. So I'm going to take, um, definitely going to go through all of these tights and see if any of them fit. Uh, the ones that do fit, of course, I'm going to keep. The ones that don't fit, I think I'm going to pass those on to my mom because she's actually been wearing a lot of tights and dresses with boots. So I think I'm going to give that to her. And then I've got a lot of socks that maybe have stretched out. So anything like that, I'm just going to get rid of. 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm just going to throw them out. I don't really know a good way of getting rid of these. Maybe I could give them, I don't even know of any shelters really that I could give them to, but I feel like maybe that would be a better thing to do is maybe pack them up and maybe give them to um, a shelter or something. But that's what I'm going to do now. So maybe I'll check in with you here in just a little bit, let you see what my progress is on this declutter situation. But that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so here is what we are left with. These are the socks that I am keeping. Uh, obviously, they are still good. They still have some elasticity. Actually, this pair I can probably pass on because that one actually is kind of stretched out. Uh, but yeah, these are all the cut that I like. I like an ankle cut or just a little bit higher than my ankle. So all of these are what I am keeping. I have some tights here. I've got five pair of tights here that I'm going to try to pass on to my mom if she wants them. Uh, then these are the ones that I am more than likely going to pack up and see if I can give them to a shelter or something. These are ones that don't fit. Maybe they have um, kind of stretched out a little bit. They're a cut that I don't like. So these are all the ones that I'm going to give away. Uh, this pile here, these are socks that don't have matches that I have not been able to find matches to for a very long time. So I'm finally just going to get rid of them. I also have a brand new pair of stockings here. Brand new pair of stockings already has a run in them. Um, and they were not cheap. These were, uh, the brand assets, which I think are a little bit expensive. Isn't assets, isn't that the, uh, the Spanx? brand of stockings. I think that's what those are. Anyway, uh, getting rid of all of those. These, I think I've got matches to these, uh, these three here. So I'm going to hold on to those until I can see if I have a match for them. But that is what I have got going here. I feel like this is probably the most uneventful declutter I have ever done. But maybe it was something to give you an idea of, something maybe that you can do. I've never thought of decluttering a sock drawer before. And I don't know why. But, I mean, I feel like I've still got a good bit of socks here, so not bad. I lost my train of thought for a second. I hope you guys maybe enjoyed this. We'll see if I can get into anything else today. Okay, guys, so I finally got to watch Christmas in Mississippi. In case you guys have not heard me talk about this movie like 5,000 times already, uh, the Harbor Lights Winter Festival Christmas light display that I actually vlogged about a week ago, this movie is kind of focused around that lighting display. Uh, it plays a huge role in that movie, and obviously it was filmed right in Gulfport, which is my hometown. It's where I grew up. My parents still live there. It's 30 minutes away from where I am now, so it's really close. It's basically right here. Uh, but yeah, it was it was pretty good. I only got to watch maybe about the last hour, hour and a half of the movie. It was pretty good. Definitely a lifetime movie. <laughs> Definitely a lifetime movie. And I don't really go for really anything on Lifetime or Hallmark, but it's definitely like that kind of Christmas movie, which is fine if that's your thing. That's great. Um, a couple of things that I did notice about it that I was kind of like, mm, not so much. Uh, one, that festival is not actually like that. First of all, the Gulfport Harbor Lights Winter Festival this year was actually the third annual. So it's only been going on for three years. Uh, but because of this movie, it has gained a ton, a ton of popularity. I uh, read an article on Facebook, I think actually from the uh, Mayor of Gulfport's official Facebook page, where they said they are very close to selling out of the merchandise for this year because so many people have watched the movie. And like when it debuted, the first night it came on, like over a million people tuned in to watch that movie. So it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal for us here. But yeah, the festival is not exactly the way that it's portrayed in the movie, which is fine. It's a movie. It's not going to be exact. The only other thing that I have to say that I was like, mm, 
that's 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 that might be a false representation but again it's a movie it doesn't matter it's just supposed to be fun but uh it seems to me like they were kind of trying to portray Gulfport as like this southern small town in Mississippi and Gulfport is not a small town Gulfport is actually the second largest city in Mississippi with a population of 72,000 as of 2016 and by now they've probably gained a few because you know people give birth so they've got more people now uh, but yeah other than that it was a really cute movie and it was really cool to watch that movie like right when I tuned in they were walking down Fishbone Alley which is in downtown Gulfport it's uh a brand new area actually in downtown Gulfport. They're doing this new revival of a lot of the downtown areas in like the coastal cities. I know uh, Biloxi, the Vu Marche, which actually I have filmed in Vu Marche. Uh, that is in my Cruise on the Coast video. But Vu Marche is huge now. There's a ton of bars and restaurants down there. Really big area. They've just done this big boom in uh, downtown Gulfport. Fishbone Alley is is a new feature down there, but Fishbone Alley is, it's an alley, and a lot of the bars and restaurants down there have seating, actually, that go out into that alley, and it's, like, full of art and all kinds of cool stuff. I haven't been down there yet. I've been dying to go down there, but I haven't made it yet, but where I tuned in, they're actually walking down Fishbone Alley, and then the next thing you see, the very next scene, you see Triplet Day Drugs, which I have driven past umpteen zillion times in my lifetime and I saw it and I was like holy crap they're actually using like actual landmarks in this movie and that's awesome because I know sometimes when they pick filming locations for movies or television shows they use like portions of it but they don't really give as much as this movie did like they didn't they don't show as much of the city you know what I'm saying? Like Stranger Things. What was I think that was filmed in what, like Georgia or Alabama? I know it was filmed somewhere down south here. Because Adam the Woo went and shot those filming locations. But all of Stranger Things was not filmed there. So they show like the uh store where the mom works. They show that area for the town. And that's the only place that they film in that city that state <laughs> so this one was really cool to actually see them i think i've got that right i hope i do please don't quote me on it but i think that's how i understood it anyway this video is going to be so long anyway it was really cool to watch that movie and see them actually have real landmarks like every single thing in that movie was actually gulf war that was so freaking cool um but yeah if you haven't caught it check your lifetime listings uh, and see if you can catch it. I think I really want to do like a filming location thing now so that I can show you guys like the, the landmarks from my perspective because I think that would be really cool. But yeah, that's what I did tonight. Also, hold on one second. So the bottle is empty now and I was going to try this on camera and I just couldn't wait. But you guys, if you can get your hands on this salted caramel Pepsi, Holy cow, this stuff is awesome, man. You can actually taste the caramel. This is like, I don't know that kids would really like this. They might, uh, but I love salted caramel. This is fantastic. You can actually taste, there's like a buttery, salty quality to it. That doesn't sound like it would pair well with Pepsi, but it really does. It's so good. What I would recommend, if you can find this and you want to try it, turn on a really good movie make you some popcorn, and pour you some of this. This goes so good with popcorn. It really, really does. It gives you, oh my gosh, the combination is so good. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you as well. I really wish I had tried that on camera, but it is so good. I kind of want to go get more, <laughs> but um, I can only find it in the 20 ounces. Anyway, so that's how I ended my night. I hope that I didn't jabber on and not make any sense. I probably didn't make any sense because when do I ever? But anyway, I just wanted to share that part of my day with you guys. 
I think I'm just going to go ahead and stop talking now, and I will see you guys tomorrow.